Hi ah, there guys, my name's Wapu. I want to show you a quick ramp start in the A10 C on DCS world. As you can see there's plenty of switches in the A10 cockpit. It's not too daunting once you know what a few of them do. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to start by doing the boost pumps. Turn those four switches on. Come over, turn on the oxygen. Pitta, Iggy and CD, CDU switches. Gonna set the radios to Nellis Tower, which is three one three two five five zero. Turn the radio on. Oops. T O yeah. and that radio, this radio, and your intercom. Next it's electrical power. Electrical power's down on your right knee. Just the other side of the caution panel there, so batteries on, AC on, inverter on. Let's see we've got battery power now, so caution panel lighting up. Test fuel pressure. That's good. Test your oxygen. When it gets to zero, you should get a caution. Cancel the caution. Just check the fire handles, make sure they're lighting up. Yeah. And then check all the other lights, make sure they're all working. Really, they don't. It, if you've not got random failures on then your cop it'll work most of the time anyway so unless you do a wrong switch so we're going to switch the APU on just check you've got these switches in the right position in front of the APU that's it, right, APU on that's going to start spooling up gauges for the APU are down on your right here there we go so we've got the a APU RPM and then the temperature. It's coming along nicely. I'm just going to set QFE, which is your altimeter at zero on the airfield that you're on. APU is good. Turn on the APU generator. So. Just checking everything's alright before an engine start. Calling tower. VHF AM. Task 1 1. Request startup. Got clearance. Task 1 1. Clear for startup. So now you need to put your, your left throttle from the idle position. Off position to the idle position, sorry. I'll start spooling up for you. If you've not got a wall or you're using keyboard to get out of the off deton, uh, for the left engine it is right alt home, and for the right engine it's right control home, and that'll bring your throttle levers out of the off position. So the engine's spooling up nicely. Because we've got the APU generator still running, we'll get a master caution. There you go. In a few more seconds, it's just going to spool up a few more RPM. And that's the engine running there. There we go. Start sequence has stopped, so now we start the second engine. Throttles forward, so that's right, control home. I think it's spooling up now. Oh, you can physically see it spinning. So now, switch these switches here. That one to the middle position. MFCD's on. Now it's time to do a bit test. 
using the upfront controller. Hit enter. And it's just going to run through a load of start test. Turning on the SAS switches, take off trim button pressed. Enough CDs have come online. Pull up, pull up. Just going to cancel that warning. Altitude, altitude. CDU repeat page up on the right hand MFD. Right, bit test complete. I like to have the radar altimeter tape set, so I'm just going to scroll through to that. So display options, and then rad alt tape. Hit the data button up to select yes. And then down to exit. And then hit the switch back up. Head up display will be on now. There we go. APU generator off and APU off. Wrong switch. I'm not used to doing it in cockpit. I'm basically demonstrating radar altimeter. So if I turn it off here, it's pretty tricky to get to behind the throttle. Master caution. Radar to uh, radar alt tapes have gone there off the hood. Switch it back on. It's a lot easier with a warthog throttle. There you go. Radar alt tapes are back up. So. We're not far off aligned. Just going to twiddle his thumbs for a minute. We can test his uh, flight surfaces. It's going to be aligned any second. Oh, lights on. Yeah, I forgot to do that earlier. Oops. Yeah, I'm just totally blagging it here. Really, I'm not using a checklist or anything. Nav, set to nav, and then your Iggy button on. There we go. Test your flight surfaces. Speed brakes. Yeah, we should check it, be checking hydraulic pressure here as well, but rarely it never works and then the um, flaps as well right so we're just going to load this DTS data turn on this countermeasures panel RWR and jammer just going to quickly reprogram program A so hit that switch up, highlight that, use a rocker to change the values, so I'm going to do 1-1 one, one and then 3 seconds spacing. So one shaft, one flare every 3 seconds, it's good when you're over a target when you're not wanting to be pressing the countermeasures button all the time. And save that, tad, turn off the map, set it to MGRS, just programming the flight data. So group ID 53, personal ID, I'm just going to leave it at 01. And then I'm going to type in call sign ham for hammer. I'm just going to reprogram the CBUs. Burst altitude. It's height of function. So 
I'm not sure what's and then load. I'm not sure what uh, uh, altitude the CB103 is best at, but the 105 is definitely best at 700 feet. It's most effective at that altitude. And we're just going to set a profile for GBUs. So we're going to auto layers at 15 seconds. So 1, 5, into the scratch pad. You can see it there on CD you repeat of, and then hit laser time, LS time, and then top right hand corner, OSB 6, just hit that for uh, auto layers. Profile set, just going to check it on the GBU. Yep, there we go. Going a little bit too fast for myself. I'm narrating it after I've actually done it. So I forgot to go in slow mo mode. Anti skid on. C armed. And basically, no caution lights. Oh, EAC. Oops. I forgot to switch that on. It's the switch on the rear right and rear left hand side of the throttle. Sorry. That's it. Clear panel. Knows we're steering on, taxi light on. Uh, request taxi from tower. That's it, good to go. Task one, one. Um, request once taxi you set off, just test your brakes. Because <laughs> I've seen many people just go cruising off and crash into things because the wheel brake button or their wheel brakes weren't actually working. Clearance, and away we go. Quick brake check, brakes are working fine. And then, yeah, just use your noggin, keep your eyes on stokes, looking out for people. Um, yeah, don't get lost. Alright guys, well that's my first ever tutorial, video tutorial on anything, so yeah, just let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you soon, take care, have fun.